Hello, in this video we will build a very simple Google Chrome extension which will scrap emails from any web page. Now if you have basic web dev experience, you should be able to write your own Chrome extensions. The important part of a Google Chrome extension is its manifest.json file. So let's start by writing this file in VS Code. So we have filled in all the basic requirements in a manifest.json file. We can now go to the extensions page in Chrome, enable developer mode and click on load unpacked. Select uh, the directory in which you have saved this manifest.json file. And our extension is already added to Google Chrome. The only thing is that it doesn't do anything. So let's add some functionality. First, let's try to display a pop-up HTML when the user clicks on the extensions icon. So right now, if we go to uh, the extension, we can see that it is disabled because it doesn't have any default actions configured. So let's again edit the manifest.json file by adding an action which displays a pop-up HTML when the user clicks on the extensions icon. So we have mentioned the pop-up.html as the HTML to be loaded to display the pop-up when user clicks on the extension. So let's create this file, fill it with some basic HTML template and see whether we are able to see this. As you can see the hello world text is displayed when we click on the extensions icon. Now let's replace this with a button. We can also include a CSS style sheet to this HTML. Let's increase the width of the extension pop-up to 300 pixels and now if we reload and take the extension again, so there has been a typo. So now if we reload and take the extension again, you can see that the width of the pop-up has increased. Now let's also center this button.
you can now see that the pop-up width has been increased and the button is displayed in the center. Now our aim is to scan the HTML of the currently loaded page. When this button is clicked and parse all the emails from the page and display it as a list below this button. So for that we will add a list below the button and we will also add a script which will handle all these actions. Let's create the script popup.js and we will write a handler for the button click. So here we have added an event listener for clicks on the button and right now it just alerts when the user clicks on this button. So let's just so let's test this. Now since it is not working, we can go to the extensions page again and click on this errors button to find out what went wrong and you can see that the scrape emails is null and that is because we did not specify an ID for our button now if you reload the extension and take it again we should be able to see the alert so our script is working now this script is running in our pop-up what we need is to run our script in the context of the currently loaded page to scrape the emails for this we are going to use the chrome scripting api so first we should get the current active tab of our chrome window So here we obtained the currently active tab and we are running this function within the context of the currently loaded page. 
So now we need to define the scrape emails from page function. And before we write the actual code to scrape the emails, let's again see if this is getting invoked. Now before that, we will need to go to the manifest again and add some permissions. So we need permissions for getting the active tab as well as for running the scripts. Now let's try to reload the extension and click on the scrape email. We expect this alert message to be displayed. So as expected, we are getting this message. So the script is going to run on the page. So we can proceed by writing the code to extract the emails from page. Now for this, we are going to use regular expressions. So I'm just copying a regex string, which would, this is a generic regex string for email addresses. And we are going to apply this on the whole pages HTML. Again, let's try by alerting whether we got the emails. Let's reload our extension and go to a page which has emails. And we can see that our extension is able to scrape the emails from the page. Now our next step is to pass these emails to the script which is running on our pop-up and display them. For that we are going to use the Chrome Runtime's message passing functionality. And we need to write an event listener or a message listener on our pop-ups JavaScript, which would get these emails. Again, let's alert the emails from here so that we can confirm whether we are getting the emails sent from the script running on the page in our pop-ups script. Before that, let's uh, just add this comment. And go to the extension and reload it. Take the extension again and this message is displayed from our message handler. So we are getting the message sent from the page on our pop-up. So now it's just a matter of displaying it in the HTML in a neat fashion.
So now we will also need to get this list element which is this So in the case where there are emails, we will loop through each email and create the list inner element and the text would be the email. So let's reload the extension again and test it. Okay, so now we can see that the extension is uh, displaying all the emails extracted from the page. We can add some more styling to the list. So you can scrape emails from any web page using this extension. If no emails are found, it will display that message. Let's do some more testing. So you can add functionality or beautify this by using more CSS. And you can also modify this extension so that it crawls all the pages of a website instead of just the currently loaded page. So I hope you find this video useful. Please give this video a like if you liked it and subscribe for more upcoming videos. Bye.